Hi, Hi fellow birdies. birdies. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. And I don't think we've ever done this before. But recently, we did a community post and we asked you guys, you know, especially women, what were your strangest or weirdest pregnancy cravings? Mm -hmm. Now, for me, for example, I didn't really have any. But you guys Subway. submitted <laughs> a lot of Subway. cool ideas. So I got a frog in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but you guys submitted a lot of cool ideas, and we're going to try them one by one today and see how we like them. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. Kay. Now, the first one is something that was actually submitted to you by life, you guys peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. Hmm. I have never had this before. Nor have I. So, here we go. Hmm. Why does that work a little bit? I feel it needs more peanut butter. Hmm. I actually do kind of like the base concept. It's actually a pretty interesting combination. Like, you know pickles are already salty, but for some reason, the peanut butter really melts together with it. Hmm. <laughs> like, I can't really describe the exact taste, but I don't know, just something about this combination works. Like, what do you think it tastes like? Pickle with peanut butter. I know that, but like, hmm. Yeah, like. That seems like very salty. I'm gonna say it's salty, more like power, more like, like uh, more sour. But I kind of like it. Mm-hmm. That was a pretty good combination. I'd say if I had a bit more peanut butter, I'd give it a three. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's an R in though. I gave it a three too, mm -hmm. but the flavor, I don't know, there's something I can't put it on by it, but it was actually, it was actually one of the most popular combinations you guys submitted, mm -hmm. so not bad. All right, the next one is marmalade and cheese slices with olives. Now we bought some orange marmalade from the store. Mm -hmm. And we have American cheese. I guess basically it says that any kind of cheese would work. And basically what you do is you take the marmalade, you spread it on a cheese slice, like this, <laughs> or something like that. And then you top it with some olives. And that's it. So I'll try it, but color me dubious. <laughs> and I screwed up on taking this off. Okay, so let's see now. So it's like you spread the olives on top like that. I love olives, by the way, but I didn't crave them when I was pregnant, though, but I definitely don't mind olives. Well, to be fair, you probably don't like you know, olives anyway when you were pregnant because of, you know, the Subway. Yeah. When I was pregnant, I craved a lot of Subway sandwiches, like I've admitted before. Actually, like a lot of stuff with cheese. So, you know, something like this. Well, they're not with the marmalade, to my recollection. Yeah. All right. Hmm. hmm. I kind of like that. Yeah, like there's something about the sweetness of the marmalade and the saltiness of the olives and saltful flavored cheese. It really blends mm -hmm. the together well. Yeah, it tastes quite good. I give it a two out of four. I actually like it more than a two. I give it a three because I just like the taste of it. In my case, because I'm biased, I'm not a fan of olives. <laughs> yeah, but you know, if you were, you probably would have given it a high rating. Yeah, it's not that I hate them, but just not a fan. Well, this one is definitely one I've been really keen on trying, and this is very interesting. Strawberry cream cheese with flaming Hot Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see how this does. Mm. I'm not sure about that one. 
like, the strawberry cream cheese definitely helps cool off the flaming Cheetos because the Cheetos are hot. Hmm. Mm. They actually just go together a little bit. I'm going with not bad, but I'd say I'm not so keen on the you know, flaming hot cheetos. Like, she is right. The you know, cream cheese does you know lower the you know, spiciness, but it might be that's kind of a downside. I like the spicy. Mm-hmm. Like I like some things spicy too, but I'm not more in spicy than you. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna use a three. The taste is definitely very interesting. And the strawberries. But the thing I noticed is that mm -hmm. it definitely helps cool off the heat of the um, Cheetos. Because like I said, these are hot. Very interesting. Yeah, I'd say that it's best when there's a lot of cheese rolls with the Cheeto. Mm-hmm. Because then it kind of, it's really like eating the cheese. Right. So I'll give it a two. I put it, you can put it in front of me, but I'm not going to add it to my plate on my own accord came from a subscriber who I could tell was definitely a fan of mustard. So the one that I chose that she submitted was Colby Jack string cheese or Colby Jack cheese sticks with mustard. Okay. I definitely think mustard and cheese go together because you know, hey, typically if I have a cheeseburger, it's gonna have mustard on it, ketchup, mayo, but this is gonna be an interesting one. Here we go. Hmm. I will admit that I'm not the biggest fan of mustard. But I don't mind it on burgers, hot dogs, but not by itself. Hmm. Two for me. I think it's okay. But I tend to like my mustard mixed with ketchup and mayo. By itself, you know, well, with the cheese, it's just a little bit too strong in a way. Like not a you know spicy way, but just in a mustardy way. It kind of tastes more vinegary to me. Like to say, hey, I don't like mustard, but the cheese does help with that a little bit. But mm. I give it a two as well. Like it wasn't bad, but like since I'm not a huge fan of mustard. Even, you know, just the cheese by itself is not really going to help with that. So, mm -hmm. but it was not a bad combo. Mm -hmm. This next one should be pretty interesting. It is eggs and ketchup. Now, I've actually admitted I've had this combo before, but it's been quite a long time. But I remember, like, going up to my grandma's house, sometimes they would put eggs on her, you know, mm -hmm. ketchup on her eggs. So, let's see how we like it. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put as much as you want on there, because I don't know. So some I've seen some people eat it this way, like they say, I put eggs on ketchup. Sure. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That actually goes good good together. Mm hmm. I love the taste of the ketchup with the egg. It kind of reminds me of those breakfast you eat with, um, you know, tomatoes. Because I grew up with that a lot, too. Like, when I would have eggs, I would have, like, tomato slices on the side. And, uh, you know, ketchup is made from tomatoes. Mm -hmm. That flavor goes good. Mm -hmm. I was out of four. I like this. is probably my favorite one so far. I like it. Still a three for me, because I'm not going to go to a restaurant just to have this, but I'll definitely add it to my plate. I'll definitely enjoy it. So a three for me. Reese's peanut butter cups with honey. Now, I always love good chocolate with honey, so mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to this. And peanut butter, like that um, oatmeal you made for me one time, it's like it had honey in it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I loved it with the peanut butter. So, all right, here we go. Guess we just do it like this. That was a big glob of honey. All right, here we go. 
Mmm. Now that works. The combination of the peanut butter, the chocolate, the honey, that's something I'm used to. Mm -hmm. That's something I've always loved. Four. It's perfectly sweet. I'm trying to decide if, one, if I'm going to go with a three or a four for this. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with three again. It's very good. I'd add it to my plate. And I'll you know, let you know that I often like to have, like, well, not often, but I used to like have uh, peanut butter and honey for like a topping. Mm hmm. But not quite a four. I feel like it needs to be a different. I, I think the chocolate would need to be a little stronger for that. I remember you used to have those bowls of peanut butter and honey that I would make you. What is that peanut butter and jelly usually? Peanut butter and jelly, and you'd also have peanut butter and honey in a bowl too mm -hmm. when we first started, you know, dating and stuff. So yeah. But anyway, guys, that's all the time we have for today. We definitely enjoyed trying out these weird and strange pregnancy cravings, but honestly, a lot of them weren't so weird. They were actually pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. If I had to pick a favorite, of course, it'd probably be the Reese's Peanut Butter with Honey. Or what was that one? Ketchup and Egg. Or the Ketchup and the Eggs. So, yeah. What about you? It's definitely one of those two, honestly. Like, the Ketchup and Egg, you know, kind of basic, but it combines really well. The Peanut Butter and a Cup of you know, Honey, like I said, feels like it could be a stronger chocolate. Both are good. I think I'll pick the ketchup and egg as my favorite. But anyway, if you guys haven't done so already, be sure to click that red button down below to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to receive notifications. And we will see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm. This is Crystal and Charles. Sonia. Bye, Bye birdies. birdies.